So there is a disillusionment of public schools are meant for everybody except my daughter. And, and that, that was the part that hurt, that we did try very hard to make her fit into public schools and we turned over every rock we could. But it just was not the place for her and it couldn't become the place for her. It was, it was fairly difficult to find a spot for him to fit. We tried multiple different venues. We tried him with an EA in the regular stream and then when he started to kind of, his peers started to grow away from him um, and he was being left further and further behind, we moved him into um, a life skills class. But in the life skills class, they just seemed to underestimate how much he could do and didn't really see his potential. So that's where we were just coming out of two years of life skills when this school opened and um, it just was the perfect fit. The tipping point was that my child was coming home not feeling very good about himself and not feeling like he was successful socially or that he was successful academically. So I wanted to find a place where he could feel good about himself for all the positive qualities that he has. And I felt like if he could be in an environment where he felt good about himself every day, the other things would come, and they have. You know, I had a, a mom yesterday who said, I have tried everything. We have done it their way. We have tried everything. And I'm asking you, is there another way, Sue? And I'm proud to say that there is another way. We have uh, met so many wonderful families with a sense of relief, a sense of belonging, a sense of renewed hope. Um, a sense of inclusivity. We have students who are coming to us who are below grade level, who are friends with students who are above grade level. And it's a, it's a level of acceptance and warmth and care and um, uh, compassion, right? And empathy for one another. Because we are all within this one world. We're not in below grade level world and above grade level world, and oh, you're in the between world. We're in one world. We're all here together to help one another. That's what it's about. I was looking for any excuse to say, no, we just gotta try harder in the public system. It, I, I think I'd said, let's give it a couple of months. I think it was three, four weeks in, even if it's that long before I said, how do we get her in there full time? It was just such a no brainer to, to see the, light turn on, to see the excitement, to, <laughs> to, see, to see the disappointment when she wakes up Saturday morning and goes, oh, there's no school today? And she's disappointed she's not coming into school. Uh, the, the incredible progress she made just in those few weeks uh, made it a very simple decision of, all right, now let's figure out how do we do this full time. It, it was such an easy decision. Is when the school first opened, we were a little bit tentative about leaving the public system and moving in to here. So we started part-time. So he came here two, three times a week alternating, and the other days he was still at in the public board and the, uh, the, um, the life skills system. And we were here about four weeks, four to six weeks of doing that, and um, we were out for a walk one day, and he just turned to me and just said, Mom, I want to go to this school full-time. I want to go to Glen Oak full-time. And when I asked him why, he said, because they know what I know. And he figured out himself that he, um, the, the teachers at his other schools couldn't see what he could do. And that here he felt like they, they, they saw his potential and, and didn't underestimate what he could achieve. I think a lot of parents, they look for like homework and book work as evidence that school is, education is happening for their child, that their child is learning. But you know, there are so many different ways to learn and um, if you have, yeah, if you can have confidence in the, in the way that there are so many different ways to learn something and not worry about that, you can give your child like a really wonderful experience um, where they're not uh, feeling pressure every day, uh, where they're not experiencing uh, bullying on the playground or um, crowded classrooms that are loud and not productive. Take the leap, that's what I would say, in a nutshell. Take the leap, give it a try, you'll be happy. When we came to interview for this school, 
I asked Susan, well, how do I know my child is going to be a good fit for this school? And she said, she doesn't have to be a fit for the school. We need to be a fit for her. And that sold me. I'm like, well, that's what I've been waiting to hear since she started school. They're all in different levels, but they all get along and they all appreciate each other um, and work with each other and help each other. I always feel welcome here and I feel like if I have a question or I have a concern, I can come in anytime and ask or discuss it and it's always, everything's taken care of. So it's a very welcoming environment for parents and for kids. A, a child's happiness uh, it, compared to what they're doing in school and what they're doing at home, they're, they're intrinsically linked. I, I, I think one, uh, the, the two are tied and you can't separate them. If there is the, the, the joy of learning, the, the, the confidence building, the, the friendship and the team building and the uh, camaraderie uh, that happens at school all day comes home. It, it obviously translates into the confidence that she has in doing things at home that she hadn't tried before or having conversations with us or other people that she hasn't had before. And it, 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 it changes not just her life, but our entire family's life. Now with the online world, he can chat with his kids, with his friends in his class and they can play Minecraft and they can play Fortnite together and they can, and he never had that kind of a relationship in the other schools. There weren't children that he stayed in contact with when he left the school. He's been a much happier kid because he comes to school, he feels accepted. He feels that he's part of the school community and that his contributions are valued and he's important and capable. And so when he comes home after a day at school like that, he feels good about himself. So he's happy and he wants to tell us about his day. So overall, he's just a much happier kid now that he's having a really good day at school. Finally, there's an option an option that nobody else could give us, but you've been able to do it for us. Thank you. And that makes my job worthwhile.